This popular protest site in the heart of New Delhi has been hosting a unique demonstration for the last three weeks. A mock parliament hosted by farmers, steps away from India's real parliament. Security has been increased and only 200 people have been allowed to take part. It's the last day and women are holding court. The women, they asserted themselves. They said, uh, earlier we used to know how to run house, how to run kitchen. But now we know how to run parliament. How Now we know how to run our own country. So I guess for masses, that's the confidence they are getting by this. More than half of India's population works in agriculture. The government of Prime Minister Narendra Modi says the three laws it passed last year will increase farmers' income and make the supply chain more efficient. It is Indian government's duty to bring happiness in the lives of farmers and double their income. Farmers should get good quality seeds, fertilizer, better irrigation facilities, technology and move towards growing expensive crops. They should be able to start processing and exporting their produce. Farmers should start earning more, which is the only motive of the Indian government. Despite these assurances, farmers who've been camping out since November are refusing to back down. The Modi government has had 11 rounds of talks with farmers' unions and recently appealed to them to return to the negotiating table. But the thousands of farmers who've been protesting here in the outskirts of New Delhi for eight months now say the three farm laws endanger their livelihood and want them repealed. Many of the farmers have travelled hundreds of kilometres and plan to stay put until their demands are met. I will keep coming here till the time I am alive. We have built permanent structures here, set up tents and there is a regular supply of water and electricity. Farmers are united. We are here to support them and we will not stop protesting till we achieve our goal. With no signs of a resolution, farmers' unions are planning another mass protest across the country to coincide with Independence Day on August 15th. Pavni Mittal, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.